tell me about Lenny, the gold medalist that you got to know. Tell me about the lesson. Um, I believe it was on focus. If I if yeah, hundred percent. In fact, um, interestingly enough, he and I did a webinar last night together. Are you kidding? We did. It was uh, it was great. So, Lanny Basham, um, awesome. I've known for a well over twenty years. Um, Olympic gold medalist in the sport of riflery. Uh, we made a connection many, many years ago through our youth program, uh, Eagle University. And um, he and I just, we sync. Our beliefs are the same, our philosophy the same. His methodology is remarkable, uh, has a fascinating story, but one of the key pieces of his philosophy and his, uh, the system that he teaches for winning, he trains the best of the best. He trains Olympic athletes, he trains the tops of, of any competitive arena. And a big part of his philosophy is the focus on what's working and being solution focused, mm. right? So, which is a simple idea. We violate it every day. Uh, one of the things that we talk about all the time is that you can't focus on the opposite of an idea, right? You can't, you can't say, don't think about pink elephants. Don't, don't think about the Statue of Liberty, mm -hmm. right? Well, the first image that pops in your mind is, is the very thing I told you not to do. Mm -hmm. But we violate that all the time uh, in every area of life. You have to stay focused on what you want and the solution you want instead of worry and concern and all those things that reinforce what you don't want. Which, <clears throat> how long have you been applying that to your own life? How long have you been applying? So I, I went to my first continuing education experience okay. when I was 12 years old. 12? My dad ran the largest ad agency in the Western United States. Really? Uh, he came home one day from work and just offhandedly said, um, there's a big seminar going on. Uh, at our local university and some of the top speakers in the world are coming for three days. Uh, we're helping promote it. I got a couple extra tickets. Do you want to go? And he kind of walked out of the room thinking that a 12 year old would have no interest. Yeah, that you'd say no. In a, in a seminar for business people. And um, I was all over it. So I grabbed one of the tickets and I rode my bicycle. Uh, this was a different era. I rode my, my purple Schwinn Stingray bicycle that I did my paper route on. I rode it across town and locked it up and walked into that basketball arena with 20 some odd thousand other business people from our community and sat there riveted for three days. Um, and you're I 12. Still, at 12, I still have the notes. You're kidding. That I took at 12. And it was people like Art Linkletter. Wow. Uh, Paul Harvey, Zig, Zig, Zig Ziglar. I mean, it was all the greats of that day were there. Oh my God. And, and so I took voracious notes. Um, and that was my first experience. So how long have I been, been applying this? Well, attempting to my whole life. Okay. So you just, you just phrased it at the end, which is where I was going to go attempting to. So does it get easier? How much I think is in some areas? Yes, it gets easier in some areas. The more you do something, the, the easier it becomes. Sure. Repetition is part of, you know, is, is, so we teach specific skills, right? Right. In total patience. Everybody. We teach specific skills. So at first they're foreign, they're different. They may not feel comfortable. The more you use them, the more you practice them, the more you do, just like any other skill, they become natural, they become a part of you, right? And so, yeah, so there's a conscious process that you do something long enough, it becomes part of your, your unconscious your or nature. subconscious, right? You just, you're just able to do it. Most things are learned. Most things are a learned skill. So when I say attempting to, yeah, I mean, applica everyday application and learning, I think is, it's part of the whole process. You're never done. How, and, and once you think you're done, you are done done. Yeah.